Made in Mexico. Mexico has become the number one trading partner with the United States. While traditionally, China has held that place, recent tariffs, reduced transportation costs, increased oversight, and then more recently the coronavirus have pushed Mexico to become the top trading partner with the United States. The total magnitude of this trade was $614.5 billion in 2019, according to U.S. Census data. The automotive and electronics industries have helped to solidify Mexico's rise over the last couple of years. Agriculture represents an important component of trade as well between the USA and Mexico. For Mexico, a major benefit beyond cheaper labor is the close proximity to the United States, which allows goods to be shipped via truck or train into the US, which is much quicker and less costly than using ocean shipping, for example, from China or Trans-Pacific Air Freight. This also makes it much easier for US companies to manage their operations what you may not know is the sheer diversity of products made in Mexico and then shipped to the U.S. via truck or train. 1. Domestic Pickup Trucks Pickup trucks such as Chevrolet, GMC, Ford, and Ram are a distinctly American fascination with few full-size trucks being sold in Europe or Asia. What many don't know is that many of these common pickup trucks are actually made in Mexico and then shipped to the United States. John Deere Tractors John Deere tractors are another American staple. Everyone knows what a John Deere is, even if you grow up in the suburbs of Manhattan, but many of their agricultural machines are built in Mexico. Airplanes You might think that commercial aircraft are so large that they are simply built in one factory then flown to their customer's location. Airplane manufacturers rely on a very complex supply chain that involves suppliers around the world. Mexico's aviation industry is growing fast with both Boeing and Bombardier relying on Mexico's factory for key components for various commercial jet models. These parts are then shipped to the final assembly center, which is typically in the U.S. Even entire fuselage sections are sometimes transported on railroad flat cars. U.S. Military Hardware Even the U.S. military relies heavily on Mexican suppliers. When the U.S. Department of Defense awards procurement contracts to companies like General Electric, Honeywell, or Lockheed Martin, certain assemblies and parts they use for finished products are built in Mexico and then shipped to the U.S. for final assembly. NASA Flight Suits the clothing our astronauts wear on missions is a highly specialized fabric that requires niche knowledge. Fortunately, a company in Mexico that has vast experience producing clothing for chemical companies is able to effectively make the NASA jumpsuits. Oreo cookies. Oreos, which are made by Nabisco Foods, are made in a major factory in Mexico that produces America's beloved sandwich style snacks. Other common grocery store staple brands, such as many Nestle items, Doritos, Cheetos, and Tostitos, are also produced in Mexico and then cross-border truck shipped to the United States. Medical Devices Many medical devices are made in Mexico, such as catheters and defibrillators. Many of this medical device production is centered in or around the Tijuana region of Mexico, which is just a short distance from San Diego, California. While not household brand names, companies such as Carefusion and Medtronic provide a lot of the equipment you see in a doctor's office or hospital. Railroad Equipment Railroad transportation is a huge industry in the USA, supporting nearly 1.5 million jobs and moving around 40% of the gross ton miles of freight in the United States, with much of this being bulk commodities such as grain and coal. Many of the rail cars you see moving on America's railroads are actually built by a number of companies in Mexico. Clothing it's rare to see clothing manufactured in the U.S. While much of U.S. clothing is made in countries such as Bangladesh, China, or Pakistan, a lot of it is also made in Mexico. Companies such as Levi make their famous jeans in Mexican factories and then ship them to U.S. distribution centers. The less obvious complication from having factories in countries around the world, and certainly for firms that build components at many separate facilities and then ship to an assembly plant, is the reliance on a very complicated supply chain. Without the robust infrastructure and coordination of literally thousands of logistics companies globally, this would not be possible. Coordinating a global supply chain like that of John Deere or Boeing is an expensive and critical task managed by hundreds to thousands of people. More videos coming along very soon from Zmodel.